Do you want to build your own remote control car? If you do, besides a chassis and motors, you'll also need the most critical component for your RC car, a module that can control the motors. Let me introduce this module to you. This is a mini DC motor driver module that can control forward reverse rotation of motors and handle up and down movement for linear actuators. The wireless RF motor driver number is MTD12A. To help you understand better, let me start with a linear actuator demonstration. These are the two wires for the linear actuator. This motor driver module has four wires in total. The black and red wires connect to the power supply. Black connects to the negative terminal. Red connects to the positive terminal. Blue and white wires connect to the load. Since we're using a regular motor, there's no polarity to worry about. Just connect them directly to the motor's two wires. We're using terminal blocks for the connections here. Super simple and convenient. Now let's connect the power supply, and that completes our wiring. Now let me show you how to pair the remote control with this small motor driver module. Power it up. Check the voltage here, it's 12 volts. The module's operating voltage is 3V to 12 volts. That's within normal range. The standby current here is 3 mA. Now let's press the learning button on the module once. The indicator light turns on. It's now in pairing mode. Keep in mind, since we're controlling two states, your remote needs at least two buttons. Press the first button on the remote you want to pair. The indicator light flashes then stays on. Now press the second button you want to pair. Finally the indicator light flashes then goes off. Pairing complete. Hold down button A. The motor goes up. Release button A. The motor stops. Hold down button B. The motor goes down. Release button B. The motor stops. This is momentary mode. And it's the mode we recommend most. The second mode. We press the learn button on the module twice. The indicator light turns on. Entering pairing mode. Press the first button on the remote we want to pair. The indicator light blinks then stays on. Now press the second button we want to pair. Finally the indicator light blinks and goes off. Pairing complete. Press A once. Motor goes up. Press A again. Motor stops. Press B once. Motor goes down. Press B again. Motor stops. This is the toggle mode. The third mode is latching mode. We press the learn button on the module three times. For this you need a three button remote control. The indicator light turns on. Entering pairing mode. Press the first button on the remote we want to pair. The indicator light blinks then stays on. Now press the second button. The indicator light blinks then stays on. Then press the third button we want to stop motor. The indicator light blinks and goes off. Pairing complete. Press the first paired button. Motor goes up. Press the third paired button. Motor stops. Press the second paired button. Motor goes down. Press the third paired button. Motor stops. In this mode, pressing the same button repeatedly has no effect. You'll notice that unlike the toggle mode, take a look at the standby power consumption here. It's 3 mA. Now we press the learn button on the module four times. The indicator light flashes then turns off. Low power mode is successfully activated. Let's check the standby power consumption again. It's now less than 1 mA. While this reduces power consumption, every benefit comes with a trade-off. Once you enter low power mode, controlling the device with your remote requires about a 0.5 second wake-up time. That means when you press the remote button, there's a slight delay before it drives the device. If you're running on battery power, this mode will give you much longer standby time. To exit low power mode, just press the learn button on the module five times. The indicator light flashes then turns off. Let's check the standby power consumption again. It's back to three milliampers. Now when you control the device it responds immediately. You can get your hands on one and experience this difference for yourself. Finally, if you want to cancel previously paired remotes, just press the learn button on the module eight times. The indicator light flashes then turns off. 
setting complete. Now all previously paired remotes are disabled. This prevents old remotes from being used by others. If you need a new remote to work with it, you'll have to pair it again from scratch. Now, you've learned everything about this module. You can buy this cheap module and follow along with the video to build your own DIY remote control car. Here I'm using a long range remote control, paired in momentary mode. Use rubber bands or a hot glue gun to secure the battery. Hold the button and the car moves forward or backward. Release it and the car stops. Right now the RC car can only move forward and backward. If you want it to turn, we need to add another module and motor. To change direction. Want to see further improvements? Hit that like button and subscribe. Your support keeps me motivated to create more content.